Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinematographer, just a dude with a camera. All right, today I got my Puma parts catalog in the mail. And Sal, I'm a retired parts guy. Spent 30 or 40 years in the auto parts business, specializing in Volkswagen, Porsche, and Audi. So playing with parts catalogs is one of my favorite things to do. I really just like checking these things out. And I was quite lucky to get this as a reprint from 1981. But it's still going to give me a lot of good ideas and part numbers that I will need, you know, for the restoration of this car. So this car is, uh, you know, got a lot of rear parts. I guess that this steering wheel is super hard to come by. You know, it's all plastic pieces that look like Allen bolts holding it in. So I guess these fell apart. So I'm quite lucky to have one that's in this good of shape. Just needs a little bit of paint. And there are a few other things that are a little different than most things like, well, this is a horrible picture of these hood hinges, but you know, I got the new hood hinges that were all bent and I was able to get a couple of the other parts that, you know, are only available out of Brazil. And some of the stuff is the same as Beetle. So I'm able to reuse some of the stuff that I have laying around the shop. And like I said, a few things are a little bit different, but we'll get through. It's time to hook up the master cylinder. And these are a little different than some of the other Volkswagens we have seen with the master cylinders as they do not come with these little elbow connectors that the brake fluid goes into the master cylinder. All the ones you see for the German cars, they come with the master cylinder. So I had to buy these from Brazil and get them shipped over. And he, they did not have the grommets. And as you can see, this grommet, besides it being super soft and history they're fatter you know I mean, the hole is bigger in the center to be able to fit that nipple into place and this is the one you'd buy for a Volkswagen as you can see it's got that tiny little hole for the metal line and here's one of the other ones so what I've been doing is running a drill bit through these and getting them to stretch out a little bit and as you can see from the shot of the master cylinder that's exactly how they're gonna look once they're inside and the hoses get hooked up to them. Here's the package I just received from Brazil. As you can see, I got my brand spanking new hinges. Got the fuel sending unit. Got the headlight, rubber headlight seals, which I had old ones, but I figured since I got them coming, I might as well get new ones. And we got the rear window seal here as well. And best of all, I got the new Puma shift knob. I mean, you gotta have that, right? Some of the other new goodies I got laying around. Well, here, BRM caps, you know where those are going. And I got my Puma registry sticker here going. Got some Puma license plate screws. Puma caps for the rims. A busted Puma GT emblem. And I've got the 1600 emblem. And I've also got the Made in Brazil sticker for the back window. And the other Puma sticker for the other side window. So, getting all the little gizmos together. Now all we got to do is get them put on. Okay, here is the O-Cap. One of my favorite brands. Tie rods left and right. And also we have some... Sax shocks from ZF. Pretty happy about that. As you can see, got lots of parts to put on this car. Some of the brands you see is Fickle and Sax. You see FAG. You see OCAP. Zimmerman. Seabro Rotors. Sax. You see them all. Even I'm in retirement, these are all brands that I dealt with on a daily basis. And now, I'm using them. Now that the control arms all have new ball joints, I still got the Duff's covers on because I want to give them a coat of paint. Might as well have them look nice. And then while I'm at it, I might as well give the give the spindles a little coat of black paint because they will look after a couple of years they will look pretty bad. So 
Doesn't have to be a showroom finish, just enough to cover the raw metal, because like I said, it will rust. I'm doing a cleanup on the gas tank. I got most of the issues, well, there was really no issues. Just got it cleaned out, and I was gonna give it a coat of paint, but I don't really wanna give it paint, because you can see this had a really dull finish. And I went to the hardware store, and this is self-etching primer. And this color looks near perfect. So I sprayed some on the bottom. How's that? That's all I sprayed, just lightly right here. And that color matches nicely. Pretty excited. And then while we're cleaning everything up, we might as well give this a nice strong coat of paint. But what about that surface rust, you say? Well, I don't worry about it because I use this engine enamel, gloss black, covers and sticks like you wouldn't believe. I did my floor jack with it. It lasted like six years and it was in worse shape than this. So I covered the master cylinder, moved most of the wires out of the way, and I'm just gonna give this a coat before I start assembling all the new pieces. Gave it, a, gave it a really nice heavy coat of that shiny black engine paint. The body's gonna be coming off of the pan so we can weld in new pan halves into it. But either way, when I get in there to work, I don't want my hands all in the rusty, oily part. So this will clean up nicely and it'll look really good. Here's everything lined up, ready for installation tomorrow. I am still waiting for a couple of the rubber snuffers for the top of the shocks. And I will pick those up in the morning and get everything else assembled. As you can see, you got all the control arms laid out with the old ones next to the new ones, new ball joints, new paint. Here's all the old stuff I took off, which was all usable. So it'll go on a conversion, disc brake conversion on Paul Kenny's buggy. But all these parts came off of here, but I started taking one thing off and the next thing you know you might as well rebuild the whole thing so everything is staged tomorrow i will get right on it as you can see we got calipers we have old shocks and new shocks we have the drop spindles all the hardware inside the wheel well has been prepped and painted and it looks wet but no that's all dry Same thing with inside here. The master cylinder was in phenomenal condition. I was able to reuse it by adding the nipples like I showed you earlier. And I think I also said that this is, pan is gonna be coming off of the body so we can replace the halves on it. And like the more I'm looking at this, I was tripping out how long they left these wires, but then I see they make it so it unplugs from here and then you take the ground, you can't see it in this light, take off the big massive grounds and you can pull this body right off, you know, once you replace, remove the steering column, but the body will come right off. You wouldn't have to unhook anything else. Just like five electrical plugs. All right, let's go look at the other side as we are getting ready to pound everything into place. And I had no intentions of, like I said, rebuilding the whole front end, but literally I broke off one grease or uh, bleeder fitting on the caliper. So I started there and it was downhill ever since, but everything's ready to go. And I will do a video as I go along on how I put it back together by myself without destroying it. I got the new hood hinges in. Still gonna take a little bit to line them up, but this is actually nice. I can actually open the hood and not have it hit me in the back of the head. It needs a little adjustment so I can get the latch to work. All right, let's take another look at what we got going on. We're going to end this video here. Tomorrow we're going to get up here and get all this taken care of. We've got plenty of time to bust all our knuckles wide open, get this drop spindle, new ball joints, whole front end put together. Coke will be there to help me. We got spare parts over here. There's a BRM. 
You guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. I know you guys are going to want to see these floors get put in. That's going to be coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Filet TV. Ciao.